made a mistake yesterday. I know you find it hard to believe, but I made a mistake. And I gave you the wrong uh, websites for the Lyme Foundation, the Lyme Disease Foundation. It's www.lyme, capital L, small y-m-e dot org. Or Lyme Foundation, L-Y-M-E, capital L, small y-m-e, f-n-d, at aol.com. Do that again. Do the second one one more time. I'm sorry, email. I'm just learning on a computer how to turn it on. <laughs> the second uh, email is Lion Foundation, capital L, small y, m, e, f, n, d, Frank Norman David, at AOL.com. Their phone number is, uh, they have a hotline, 1-800-886- capital L-Y-M-E. And you can, you can basically download most of the information is in this, uh, my course manual from the seminar last year on uh, Lyme disease. Some real good stuff in here. www.capitalllymee.org very useful information, and I'm sure they've updated it since I got this to find out what the latest stuff is. It's epidemic. You see that you see that on patients that come in every day. You find it in the jawbone. You find it in teeth. What comes first? You know what I mean? Probably. Or maybe a vaccine somewhere. Why does everybody have it? While Dieter's not here, I want to make some comments. Uh, this will go to his head. The boy, the boy is a true genius. His I, I mean, his IQ is probably no, no. He's way beyond. He's way beyond everybody here. His IQ must be in 200, and he just so incredible. And I had to give him so much credit. He's a dear friend, and I'm so lucky to have met him. And we're all lucky to have him in our academy. Um, I can't encourage you enough to take his courses. The stuff that you learn, you'll take with you to your grave. You'll, you'll help thousands of people. Can you imagine helping thousands of people? What you do already? I'm just talking about you. Your nose was itching, probably. But the ability is to learn what he has to teach you, to pass on to your patients, the thousands of people you're going to help and save lives. In case you haven't noticed, the level of patients that we're seeing is getting sicker and sicker. And just the overall quality of health is deteriorating, and as much as you try to do, and as healthy as a nation we're supposed to be, that's not true. These patients are very difficult. They will sap your energy. They will sap your vital juices, if you'll pardon an old movie expression. And you have to take care of yourself. And the way you do that is arming yourself with knowledge. So I can't encourage you not to take Dr. Klinghart's courses on neurotherapy and psychoneurotherapy and muscle testing. I think that in the handout, his handout, there are schedules for his workshops and seminars. There is a packet of his materials on the American Academy's table over here, the book table. And it's $3 for his packet of material. What is in that packet? It's the psychological stuff. The psychological like, stuff. Uh, a paper I wrote recently on the connection of toxic metals, the uh, sections, and emotions, how they all kind of tie them together. Okay. Our next lecture is a Dr. Lee, originally from Korea, who now is in Sunnyvale, California. He's going to show us another way that teeth uh, correspond to the body parts, in particular internal organ systems. You are also president of the Oriental TMJ Association. I know there's more words to that, but I'm kind of a basic guy, and I have Lyme disease in my brain, so <laughs> why don't you come on up and get started, all right? Let's have a hand for our next question. First of all, uh, I deeply appreciate of, uh, giving me the uh, chance to present the seminars uh, to Mrs. Arena and yeah, everybody, Dr. Fusa and Dr. Greenheart. Okay, anyhow, uh, 
I have more than a uh, thousand slides for this one, however, it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> so only I have uh, only one hour from now. So I cut it half and then cut it half. I prepared actually uh, about 300 slides, but I may have to cut it half again. <laughs> Okay, anyhow, uh, I don't have enough time, and so I'll uh, go through now. New and simple method to find the bio, uh, bioenergetic interconnections of teeth and TMJ, internal organs and spines, teeth, TMJ, and total portions. Oh, is Dr. Klinghardt here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't get to approve from you, but uh, <laughs> always. <laughs> always. <laughs> okay, peace has connection uh, to the internal organs and the joint uh, bioenergetically. And we could use uh, AK test like uh, uh, arm muscles. And this Dr. Smith, he just left uh, a few minutes ago to the San Francisco airport, but uh, I invite Dr. Smith to Korea about, that was 1991, which is uh, nine years ago. He treated many uh, patients in Korea, and uh, he's trying to treat neck pain patients. And uh, when he treat the TMJ patient, is, um, uh, most of the TMJ patients have neck problems. And they have weakness injuries. We don't know. What can we do? We treat TMJ and neck pain disappear? Or we have to treat uh, neck problems, then TMJ problems disappear? We don't know. And we have to find out what is the cause. TMJ is the cause, or neck pain is the cause. We have to find out before we treat it. Teeth, internal organs, teeth, joint, joint cause teeth problems, spine problem may cause teeth, teeth may cause spine problems. TMJ has a relationship to internal organs and joint too. Well, each tooth has a, a connection to internal organ, not only to internal organ, cranial bone, spines, TMJ, sacrums, joints. Joint uh, uh, cause teeth problem too. Joint cause sacrum problem too. See? Now TMJ problem may cause cranial bone problems. Cranial bone problem may cause TMJ problems. So complicated. We have to know what, what can we do. We treat TMJ? or we treat cranial bone, or we treat both. Applied kinesiology test and Korean photography. I didn't have enough time uh, for this one, but uh, I brought several slides for this one. But AK and power seal is my main topic today. This power seal. Everybody has this one, right? Yeah. Who don't have this one now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> All right. If you hang on to your hands up, then <laughs> she'll bring them, uh, the power seal to you. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Well, this patient, <coughs> uh, is TMJ patients, she has left TMJ pain and eye aches, eye pains, and uh, many health problems. By TMJ splint, we solve most of the problems. The eye symptoms disappeared about 40%, but uh, she still have eye problems, strained eyes, red eyes. So I did my best, but uh, she still has the eye problems. So what we do, uh, we have a uh, hold his hands, cover up his eyes, and test and the uh, muscle weak. So when he test the TMJ, TMJ shows good, but when he test eyes, still weak. And 
I test her liver point weeks. Gallbladder point weeks. And I search many places. And I found this area make a weak. And I attach tau cells over here. I test the gallbladder point. I uh, test river point. Shows strong. What does it mean? This may cause river or gallbladder problems. And now I attach this one to the river or gallbladder point. I test this area. Shows weak again. Which means river or gallbladder problem do not cause this problem here. Same thing. And that case, if we attach the tau cell to that uh, upper left cuspid area, before that, before attach it, right leg was shot about 11 millimeters. As soon as I, I attach the cell, tau cell, this area, and then the lower right area, then leg straight up. Many leg length problems coming from TMJ, as you know, or cervical bone, or pelvic problems. But sometimes we cannot solve the problems by adjusting the spine, by adjusting cranial bone, by adjusting TMJ. Then this case, if we correct the liver problems, just correcting the teeth, then leg length straight up. By the way, uh, if uh, the liver problem, gallbladder problem, most of times make right leg short. OK. Uh, this book, can you read this one? <laughs> Here's English here. A message from water is telling us to take a look at ourselves. Yeah, this uh, is Mr. Masaru Emoto. He's Japanese. He wrote, he wrote this book, and uh, he researched lots of the water. They use very powerful microscope <coughs> about uh, they use about 200 to 500 times magnifying. They freeze the water and look at the water, uh, water crystals. And this one is spring water. Uh, I don't know this uh, Hiroshima. Yeah, they freeze it. They look at it by microscope. It shows beautiful hexagons crystals, the spring wall. But this one, London, tap water, no crystals. No. This one is Buenos Aires, Argentina, water. It's good. Good crystals, good energies. It's Japanese, uh, different cities, different Fukuoka or uh, yeah, this. Osaka, uh, Okinawa, Okinawa, yeah. And not really good uh, crystals. This one, uh, they pick up the water from the uh, river. The upper stream shows good. Middle one is not too good. At, uh, uh, at the end, it's very bad. It's, that means it's contamination. It starts from here, and then getting worse and worse. This is distilled water, distilled water. Different source of the distilled water. No crystals. Distilled water is dead, dead water, actually. And then they use music. This is speaker. They put the water in the bottle, 
and they put the distilled water. As you saw, is uh, which is is bad. No crystals. They turn on the music, and then it shows crystals now. Depends on what kind of music. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, this is Bahas G strings music. Shows this way. Very gracious. Beautiful. This is Mozart uh, number 40, G minus. Shows a little different one. Depends on what kind of music. This one is uh, uh, Beethoven's Petrel, different. It, it forms different crystals. This is Chopin's farewell song. Just like farewell, you know, it's, it's a party chart. <laughs> and they use healing vibration music. They call it the hard music. This hado means vibrations. And then it shows beautifully. Now they use heavy metal music. <laughs> <laughs> no crystals. Everything breaks down. No crystals. Now don't laugh anymore. This is now is we're going to very serious business now. <laughs> They typed letter, like uh, this is, this says thank you in Korean. They typed it. And they attach on the water bottles. So they leave it alone overnight, and the next day they freeze it, they look at it. They just write down on the letter. Type, I mean, not writing down, typing. And they write down, you fool, in <laughs> Japanese. You fool. You make me sick, I'll kill you. And then, it's terrible. <laughs> this means love and thank you. This means Let's do it. <laughs> not bad. Let's do it. Not bad. Now, do it. Looks bad. Looks bad. Do it. Looks bad. And this one, beautiful. Write down the letter, beautiful. Overnight, you make beautiful crystals. Dirty. Not too good. And now they wrote the name of the persons. Adolf Hitler's. Adolf Hitler's. It's breakdown. Mother Teresa. And now they trying to do a little bit different one. Can you see this picture here? They use innocent young girl pictures. They put the water over the uh, pictures, innocent young girl, overnight. It's before this way, after this way. It make a difference. Now is uh, they have a special machine to so, uh, generate vibrations specific vibration, different frequencies. They use immune modes of the vibrations. This is before, after. And this one is, yeah, this is before, this damn water is after they send immune uh, vibrations, immune cord. 
this is interesting. I don't know you can see clearly. This uh, this touch sends the vibration five um, uh, just in five second, and uh, this before and uh, after five second and ten second and fifteen second and uh, twenty twenty five seconds and. Five seconds at the corner. Can you see a little bit green color? The corner. Mm -hmm. And the middle is pink colors. And 10 seconds later, corner is the pink. Middle, middle is, I mean, corner is, uh, uh, corner was the uh, green. Now, corner become to pink, different. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Every time, it changes in the colors. What does it mean? Water can save or water can store some energies or memories like a computer diskette. And this is uh, aromatherapies. They pick up the aroma, uh, the oil from these flowers. They look at it. Look like the flowers. They pick up different flowers. Shows similar one. So information, some information going to the water. This one is uh, the famous Kobe earthquakes, and. Right after earthquakes, the water shows like this way. About three months later, it becoming to the normal and or healthy. This one is, uh, uh, I think it is some uh, tap water. Yeah, tap water. Before, this no crystals. And then uh, about 500 people, 500 people gives a good energy like praying for the waters shows this way and this one uh, water is before after praying the, the book says one the buddhist uh, monk prayed for the dam and then after that they pick up the water, and it shows these beautiful crystals. But usually, normal good crystal uh, has a, a hexagon. But this one, if you look at carefully, there's one more here. One more here. This is actually heptagon. Sometimes uh, they find heptagons, like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven heptagons. What I understand is uh, hexagon is very stable, good energies. But heptagon is, is more activated. 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 It's a little unstable, but you could give the energy to someone very easily. So. Okay. Well, from here we get lots of information, lots of uh, lessons. Okay, uh, the arrows, outward arrows, is extracting bad energies. It could extract good energy too. Inward arrows, attracting universal energies. If you have a chance, you could write, you could draw the line like this arrow, exactly this way. And you put the fingers in the middle of there. You test arm muscle test. Will make you weak. If you put the finger here, just draw it by your handwriting. And do the arm muscle test will make you strong, usually. This form, uh, like uh, you know, as you saw that if you write down or typing the letter, 
It makes the world. It makes difference for the world, right? This form can change the energy field. So this power cell, which you have some samples that anyhow, the power cell has two different kinds of error. One is outward, the other one is inward error here. Combination. So this, this cell was designed to remove bad energies, bring it out, and bring the good energy from the universe. Another one at the at the middle. Can you see little dot? Okay. Uh, the dot. Uh, I can explain a little bit later on. And the power cell octangles activated and oversaturated ener energetic structures. Hexagon contains complete, stable, and saturated energetic structures. For treatments of the problems. So octangle may be more effective than hexagons. So, so power cells, which you have that one has, is the octangle rather than hexagons. Power of the black holes, you know black hole, universe black holes. Black hole is energy core which has a possibility of the attractions, reconstruction, and release of energy. So in the middle of that seal, there is some uh, black hole form there. Is it possible to say bioenergy? I say yes, like water can save the energies. I compare this case. Form make up structure. Form saves energies. Different form has different energy levels. Structure determine functions. Normal function from normal structures. So form make structure. Structure influence functions. So just form, which form? You form can do something. Form is not only form. Form can do some function. Power cell octangle, saturated plus energies, black hole, reconstruction of energies. Outward arrow, extraction of bad energies, uh, stored, kill loss energies. I mean, actually, this one, uh, the power cell has two components. One is the form of the, the design and form of, of the cells. The other one is uh, uh, healer uh, inserted or uh, uh, imprinted some energies. Homeopathic, what is homeopathic? That's energetic signature. So like uh, here, homeopathics, the cell can contain energetic signature. Uh, this is power series. Power series like uh, act like semiconduction of uh, bioenergies, removing bad energies, detoxifying and re uh, reserve spaces for intake energy from universe. By the way, I'm from Silicon Valley. Securing good bioenergies. Power cells, removing bad energy, detoxifying, and uh, changing harmful energy into helpful energies. I will explain it later on. Power cells, harmonizing and synchronizing the different, different frequencies of energy field. Difference. For instance, some of you may hate Christians. If you Put your fingers over here, do the muscle test, will make you weak. Some of you may hate Buddhist. You touch your finger here, and muscle test will make you weak. Some of you may like uh, Christian and Buddhist, both of them. But if you touch 
two fingers at the same time make you weak because different frequency energies. That case, you test it, you try at home. What you can do, you put your seal between the eyebrows and touch two pictures and test your muscles will make you strong. So uh, I think it's Dr. Klinghardt uh, explained about them when some uh, house and wife do not match together. Yeah. In that case, that's really marriage problem. That cause really marriage problems. I don't know. I never tried, but uh, each one may keep this cell between the eyebrows. <laughs> Could make harmonize. <laughs> Characteristic of a power cell: very subtle, very gentle, but very powerful, and very slow. However. Immediate, on and off. Immediate, on and off. This is important. So if we put it in, it works. Take it out, doesn't work. So when I search for what is the cause of the problems, we put it in, we test it, take it out, test it again, vice versa. If we use laser or uh, if we use something, any uh, therapy uh, modalities, the later on, we want to confirm or we want to double check. We don't know how to do it. But with the power cells, we put it in, test it, take it out, test it again. It works on and off right away. It does not leave the, uh, any influence right away. Usually, the, uh, if you keep this seal more than 10 minutes, then uh, then it make a difference. But yeah, if you test it within 10 minutes, it doesn't make any difference. So I'm from Korea too. This is Korean flag. <laughs> Ying and yang, like that. OK, AK with the power cell, and we want to find which tools or entities cause internal organ problem. Or internal organ problem cause this problem? We don't know. We want to find out. By this muscle test? Or, yeah, this heavy guy, strong, and I cannot make it. I cannot bring it down because too strong, too gross. Uh, here's the Dr. Omura, uh, he developed O-ring test, finger test. They use thumb and second fingers. Like this way. He points this cellular phone. He doesn't have to touch it, just point it. It can make it different. Or we could put so, some surrogate right here, and we could test through some surrogate. Yeah, through some surrogate. Uh, this way, touch this way. Uh, he attached some metal, metal bar here to find out, to pick up exact point. Okay, now is uh, Dr. Bosender uh, taught us that where we could find out what is the point to check liver, gallbladder, heart, kidney, whatever. But there's another way. Uh, this uh, big toe, <coughs> at the end, big toe, you touch your fingers, it shows liver. At the end, it's uh, gallbladder, uh, heart, and small intestine, spleen, stomach, and lung, and large intestine, kidney, and bladder. You know this one. Okay, I want to save time. And now, 
I, I liked uh, Orin test. However, I don't want to use thumb and second fingers. I want to use thumb and small finger because I want to detect very subtle energy changes. This arm, for me, looks too strong, too gross. And thumb and second finger, still too gross for me. I'm looking for the subtle energy changes. This thumb and small fingers, like this. Hold them, have them hold right like this way. OK, uh, she is my assistant. And she says she has breast problems. I'm not going to tell you exactly the name of the disease, <laughs> because she didn't allow me to, to say that. But anyhow, so I have a touch between the breast, and I test this O-ring. This will test, make it weak. OK, that's something going wrong with the mammary gland. And have a touch uh, right breast, make it weak. Left, make weak. By clean heart chart, right breast has uh, has problem with uh, I mean has connection with uh, uh, upper upper molars. Uh, I use this chart very often too. Uh, okay. Left breast has connection to upper left molars. But, but for the bottom side, for lower teeth, it's different. Left breast has connection to bicuspid. Right breast has connection to the bicuspid. It's a little different than uh, the top upper, upper teeth. So, I have a touch several points, and then I found lower left bicuspid area has connection to left breast. And I, first of all, I have a touch here. I do the muscle test, make it weak. And then I find I have a touch the each tooth still okay the muscle shows strong both cuspid strong and then i have a touchy gingival area i mean the that's missing tooth area and is still okay and uh, gingival area root area make you weak which means this is not premature problem. This is something like a pulpitis or, or a cavitation. This is not the premature problems. Okay. And then I test the right side again, have a hold. And then I put this pause on that area. Now I have a I have a touch her right breast. I test the muscle here. Make it strong. What does it mean? Lower right bicuspid is causing the right breast problem energetically. Left bicuspid, left lower bicuspid has connection to the left breast. And then I have a touch at the end of the toe, each one, like this. I screen 
I scan every uh, internal organs through the toes. That's kidney and bladder. And this is for the uh, metabolic test. I, I don't want to go through this. Uh, it's taking time. So. And liver and gallbladder and this uh, stomach and spleen and kidney, right left kidney and this heart and this kidney area is upper antifetis and this uh, cuspid area, this is bicuspid area. This molar, this uh, third molar area. Uh, could you change the tray? Uh, how many minutes do I have? One minute? <laughs> what time do you have? 20, 20, after. 20 after 11. 11. 11. OK, I still have 40 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's good. That makes me easy. <laughs> Okay, tooth disturbance can be a result of malocclusion. There are three possibilities. Number one is pathology of the tooth or periodontal tissues. Number two, disturbance of the receptors in the periodontal ligament. It may be that of the tooth has been malposed in the alveolar socket possibly from some destructive force during mastication. This case, we may need occlusal adjustment. Some materials for tooth restorations, amalgams, gold, nickels, or even composite. Many composite is very toxic. Some of them is not toxic. Its periapical regions has some connection to everywhere, too. Dr. Fonda is my the teacher, too. He's, he's saying that dent we should be the dental physician rather than dentist. Dentist, like uh, uh, technicians, we should be dental physicians. He wrote the book, Dental Distress Syndromes. He's talking about the premature or stress on the occlusion by any means. That could cause the energetic, bioenergetic problems. These tools may cause stomach problem or uh, spleen problem without any pulpitis or cavitation or any period problems. Just premature. Stress from the tooth may cause that uh, stress of the teeth may cause pathology of ears, like even otitis media, vertigo, hearing loss, too, headaches, sinus throat problems, and eye problems. Skin, dry skin, about 93 percent of dry skin. And upset stomach, heartburn, gas, puritis, kidney infection, too. Gynecology problems, irregular menstrual cycle, 99 percent. Premenstrual tension, 96 percent. Premenstrual tension or amenorrhea and frigidity. History of miscarriage and or inability of conceived, 51%. General symptoms, chronically tired, 89%, increased nerve tension, malaise, whatever. Depression, 97%. Irritate, 67 
worrying 84%. Total patients. Total patients. <웃음> Internal organ, cranial bone, spine, teeth, joint, sacrum, TMJ. Where do we start it? Here, here, or here, here? We don't know. And this goal, and uh, we found this uh, lower bicuspid has connection to the breast. Then why lower bicuspid problems? Why? What caused the lower bicuspid, bicuspid problems? We want to know. We want to find out. So we have to check TMJ, left, right. Four bio electromagnetic circuit, like meridians, pass through the TMJ area. This area is small intestine circuit, gallbladder circuit, stomach, endocrine circuit. All abnormal TMJ affect all structure on this circuit, resulting in clinical symptoms. We have to search for the TMJ. We have to rule out TMJ problem too. See? And cranial bone problem may cause the problems. We have to check cranial bone, frontal bone, temporal bone, sphenoid, watch put. And C1, C2, C3 and 4, so on. And hyoid one, and pelvis, sacrums. This is positive and negative to make sure that the sacrum is okay. Dr. Smith, cranial dental sacral complex. There's some connections between cranial bone and sacrum and the teeth. So we have to we have to search everything. What caused the, the teeth problems? We have to rule out our, our other problems. What will be the major? Cranial major, or TMJ major, or pelvic major, nutritional, muscle organ systems, psychological dysfunction major, or T major, whatever. We have to find that. How do we find? If we find any, any problem, any dysfunction, make this muscle weak we attach the power cells, and then we go back to the teeth again. And then if, teeth, if we touch the teeth again and make it strong, then the problem starts from other, other, other areas. You follow me? Okay. Dr. Smith, <laughs> it was in, uh, he was young. Uh, today he looks uh, pretty old, but it, it was nine years old ago. <laughs> he got some bold. I could, uh, I could say so because he is nine. Years. <laughs> okay. Now is uh, this guy says if this pelvic rotations it cause mandible rotations. Who knows? Mandible rotation may cause pelvic rotations. Which one is first? How do we know? We attach power cell, mandible area, and we test sacrum, and then make it strong. Then the problem came from the TMJ or mandibles. If we attach the power cell at the sacrum area, we test TMJ, we make it strong. Then problems start from sacrums. Then we have to treat the sacrum instead of the TMJ. And also, I'm, I'm really concerned about the ankles. Many, many ankle uh, problems cause TMJ, actually. Um, I have one uh, uh, story. I treated TMJ problem patients, and initially uh, the TMJ pain disappeared. But later on, TMJ pain came back again. And then uh, the patient and mother 
and myself was frustrated. Oh, pain came back. Oh, I'm doing something, something wrong. So we test all bodies, and we found ankle was weak. And then I asked the patient, did you have any injuries of your ankles, any traumas, and fall down and sprained? And the patient says, oh yeah, I, during the soccer playing, then the, I sprained my ankles. So we put the power cell in that area, that ankle area. And then months later, the patient came back. How are you doing? And no more TMJ pain. TMJ pain disappeared. Anyhow, I have to uh, check the ankle too. Lateral, uh, medial, right, left. See? And then, this case, uh, 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 we use special metal uh, uh, power seal type, and we put this one on the skin, and that the bicuspid area or cuspid area, whatever, this problem. And then right down about two, three millimeter, what happened when they put that one on the skin initially, uh, they feel the uh, very, very fast movement of the tissues. And, and two, three millimeter, it'll come down. That's the time to finish it. Then we test again. And then, not only this place, but also the breast area shows strong. Both sides, we do both sides. Or, that's special metal. <laughs> <laughs> and they could use, they could attach the uh, power cell too, power cell. But the problem is, uh, cosmetically or socially, may not be acceptable. So this one, it, it, this treatment may, uh, is about, may last about two, three minutes per one session. 90% of all adult medical problems begins in the mouth area. The dentist is the most important person in the healing arts. <laughs> Kling, Dr. Klinghardt is the second most important person. <laughs> <laughs> Reynald Ball, Reynald Ball says, the electromagnetic system is the most important system in the body, and the disease process starts with the electromagnetic disturbance, beginning in the dry area of, for the adult, in up to 90% of the medical ailments. And this uh, calculator generates lots of harmful electromagnetic field. And before we turn on the switch, we test muscle strong. If we turn it on, make it weak. Can you see the difference? Turn it on, turn it off. This is brighter, this is darker. <laughs> Actually, I, I tried, I mean, I tried to pick up the light here, but my camera couldn't pick up the light. So. Okay, now, I turn off the calculator, and uh, th then I have a hold sugar box, sugar right here, left hand. I test the muscle, make it weak. Then I attach this power cell, little different power cells. You, you, your power cells still work, but it lasts only three or seven days. But this power cell lasts uh, almost permanent. But I attach it, this one on the calculator. And then if I turn on the calculator, she still holds the uh, sugar. Guess what? Stronger. 
Strong, right, you got it. Right, you got it. What does it mean? What does it mean? This one converts harmful energy to helpful, good energies. You know, we try to just protect it. We don't, you know, we didn't try to make it better way. We try to just hold it, protect it. But this one I found, this one make it the other way. I mean, convert harmful energy to good energies. You try, you got the samples. See? Even she close hands with the sugar to the calculator, make it strong. But if we turn off the calculator, make it weak again. Better have one on your computer. Yeah. It's on telephone. And also geopathic. Uh, you know how to uh, check ge geopathic. Dr. Klinghart taught me a very a simple way how to detect geopathic. Uh, but anyhow, this patient has ge geopathic problems. So we put that sticker over here, back side, doesn't work. But if we put this one front side, it works. What I found, there's some direction of the geopathics. If we put this one one direction, it works. But if we put this one to other directions, backside or whatever, other directions, it doesn't work. So we have to put uh, certain directions. Okay, cellular phone and computer, audio systems, and this patient is same same way, eye problems, and we use sticker here and check fingers, gallbladder, and. Uh, I mean the, the liver and gallbladder, and this area is the the cause of the problems. And if you attach and test it again, make it strong. And this patient has spinoid problem too. If we put this one, spinoid become strong. And this case, this guy does not want to wear the sticker, uh, so we use. These lasers, uh, this laser working good too. It's beautiful laser too. See? And before, once again, liver and gallbladder problem cause right foot short. This case about seven millimeter short. Seven millimeter, right? Yeah. Now, dead straight. Just a couple of seconds, we attach it, make it straight up. Questioning is the health activities. Uh, I studied Chinese medicine and then. Uh, 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 they teach me how to, you know, pulse test uh, and tongue test, whatever. And then, whenever we find liver problem, kidney problem, and then whatever, and then we try to. They, I mean, they teach me how to, to treat the liver or gallbladder problem or kidney problem by herb or acupuncture or whatever. Then, the question is that why uh, they have liver problem? Why they have kidney problem? Then if I search for that, the case, most of them coming from this area, dental area. That's what I found. And yeah, this is Korean uh, cameras here. Here's the, uh, like the, uh, the back, and we 
put the hands inside in dark field, and we use uh, Polaroid photography. And then, oh, it's, it's upside down. <laughs> this uh, weak, weak energy, weak G. This strong, this is strong. Thumb is long, limp, uh, index, being large intestine, and middle finger is circulation sex, uh, pericardium, and the other one triple worm and uh, liver, and uh, pink one heart and small intestines. As she's, a, she's beautiful, right? Except these chopsticks, uh, by the way. <laughs> she's my wife. <laughs> OK, uh, this one, we put this chopstick. And before we put the chopstick, Korean photography shows zero, blank. Right after we, the wood bites, it takes maybe uh, one minute, less than one minute. Then finger shows very strong energies. And this different patient. By the way, he, she she wear the ring here. Ring make big difference too. So the ring should be very cautious to wear it. Depends on person. Every person is not the same. If you put the wrong ring on the wrong fingers, that undermine your health. This this is very serious. And this before TMJ treatment is weak. After TMJ treatment, strong. TMJ area is, as you see, is triple warmer running very close to TMJ area, joint area. If joint is not, ro not right, it could block the energy flow, meridian flow. So this is triple warmer flows. Influence is many areas. Hypotension, hypoglycemia, hypoinsulin, and this small intestine meridians to very close to TMJ area too. This gallbladder meridians, see as you see, this TM joint area. If you are going backwards, some regions, it will block the energy flow. See? If you bring it down by wood bite or by splint, whatever, it can reopen that energy channels. That, that shows on the Korean photographies. In the practice of TMJ, correction of TMJ subluxation or injury often calm down the active meridian systems by your acupuncture associated joint point, which is adjacent to the TMJ. And injury to the TMJ can interfere with the energy traveling through the meridians in the area, influencing organs remote from the TMJ injury and subluxations. TMJ is the most important joint in the body. Any uncorrected imbalance in the joint can lead to symptoms and illness anywhere in the body. John Diamond. Somebody talk about the John Diamond, <laughs> right? I don't mean this. I mean, TMJ is not all, but TMJ is part of that uh, problem makers. TMJ is very important too. Normal structure produces normal functions. The, the doctor of the future will give no medicines, but will interest the, his patient in the care of the human frame in the diet and the cause. And the cause, what is the cause? And the prevention of disease. Thomas Edison, as you know. If the TMJ problem, jaw going back with this come, uh, come forward, and if we bring the jaw forward, then upper entities will touch 
only upper end treaties and lower end treaties will touch. It will cause premature, it will cause stress. So if we have to bring the mandible forward, we have to, sup we have to support this smaller area. Otherwise, it will create kidney problems, brain problems. In some TMJ surgery case, it, it creates scar tissue. It will block energy flow. And yeah, this one, this is my son, <laughs> has scar on the chin. I use uh, yeah, the Novocaine. I mean, Procaine, the same thing. I mean, I learned from Dr. The Klinghardt. <laughs> yes, it works beautiful too. And power cell work, will work too, but the uh, Procaine injection will work faster and uh, it, it lasts a much longer. No, no. Procaine. Power cell, yeah, power cell, yeah. Power cell, you got the, the cell, you know, that's power cells. This different type, this is not only one type of a collion photograph, there's many different kinds of uh, collion photograph. This, this one uh, made by I forgot her name, but uh, the she, she's, she was from Canada. She developed different type of the uh, uh, Korean photography uh, the cameras. <laughs> they, they use color one. These all fingers. Different picture shows, shows different problems. Can you read this one? Uh, lately, about months ago, uh, one of my friends in uh, the Russia sent me the letter with the picture, Korean photographic picture. And Russian letter look like you know upside down many times. You know that, right? Yes, That's the reason I put the slide in upside down so I could read the better. Yeah. <laughs> wow. We've read all that. <laughs> Yeah, isn't it beautiful? Yeah. What is it? This Korean photography. See? It's beautiful. This is for this is Korean photography. The mouth is the body center, the place where the, we exercise our consciousness and freedom. It is the pivot of the body's functioning by controlling our eating, breathing, and talking. We control our lives. Your face never rises. Dentists are not aware of the tremendous far-reaching aspect of their professions or, or some power they hold. The dentist is the most important member of the healing art. So, uh, healthcare cost is sky rocketing up right here. They expect, they estimate it here, but actual cost going up here. Why? They don't treat the cost. They don't know. They don't know how to find the cause. They just treat the symptoms. That's the problems. They make more problem than uh, yes, uh, doing nothing. We should ask more of why is that? Why? Why headaches? Why shoulder pain? Drug, yeah. I teach my students to question everything they see, everything they are told, and everything that they do, and constantly evaluate and reevaluate their own result and the result of others. See? Can you see? What does it mean?
We have to think we are doing the same way. We have to think about that one. We have to find out the cause. Occlusal correction or adjustment by the dentist will eliminate the distress of malocclusion. But if the nutritional, structural, psychological, or environmental stressors remain at the error level of the patient's threshold, the abnormal function will continue. If all you have a hammer, you tend to see everything as a nail. Structure, chemical, mental, and spiritual. Triad of health. Unfortunately, negative comments come from critics who have never used this treatment method. Right? Yeah. Progress is a nice word, but change is uh, motivated, and change has its enemies. Uh -huh. We have, we are not alone. 여러분들한테, uh, I mean, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, okay. Thank you, thank you. Uh, uh. <laughs> Uh, if I have time, I could get I, I could answer your questions, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, sure, sure. Okay. Yeah. Three questions. That's it. Okay. Yes. We're talking a medallion like Carol is wearing around her neck. Yeah, that one is a little more powerful. But a little more expensive. <laughs> that, yeah, this one uh, is from Korea. I didn't make it. It's from Korea. But the who made this one uh, do not know about this one. So what she's doing is she put the sticker all over the bodies. If the patient has a liver problem, they put the uh, sticker around the liver. They have a stomach problem, they put the sticker, about five or six stickers on the, uh, the stomach area. They have a back problem. They attach the stickers above. It's a tons of the stickers on the back area. But that doesn't make sense for me. And we have to find out what causes back aches, what causes the uh, liver problems. We, if we find the spot, we use only one or two. That's it. Yes. Hard crystals, yeah, uh, yeah, right. That's uh, that, uh, yeah, that's written in uh, Japanese and English. What's the name of the book in English? Uh, the the message from yeah. Did you write down message from the water? Is telling to us uh, look at ourselves. Yeah, that's the name of the yeah. Uh, water messages from the water is telling us to look at ourselves. Okay, one more quick question. One more. That's it? Okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Uh, uh, Okamoto? Okamoto? Yeah, I think Okamoto. Yeah. One more round of applause, guys, yeah. for this guy. Thanks a lot. Oh, <laughs> thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Oh, you got that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, no, we already. <laughs> Some of us are quicker than others, you know, translating these things. Just one up here. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh